And we're going to get right into that. We're going to get right into that. We're going to get right into that. But first of all, let's get into a little news tidbit. Because, you know, one of the things that's happening in the world today, hmm, if you notice that Karen was wearing that no hate, you know, uh, uh, bandage on her face. And that's an amazing and necessary thing today because there's so much hate going on, like, for, Asi for Asian Americans in this country. Like, what's really happening, people? Like, you know, we're moving from, from like, says, let's beat them up. Let's move over here and beat these people up. Listen, there are people in my life that are, um, you know, Asian, you know, loves of my life. You know what I mean? So, truthfully, I'm going to keep it really real. Don't be out here hating on Asians, bro. Because ain't nothing wrong with Asians, man. They some of the coolest people I know. You feel what I'm saying? So, having said all that, love the Asians. Love the blacks, love the white. Everybody need to love one another. Anyway, welcome to the Mad Jeff Show. You notice I'm rocking my 90s R&B alumni shirt. You feel me? My, my hoodie, uh, correction, my hoodie sent to me by my, by my homie, Mr. Kerry Lewis. And uh, since we did some modeling, I'm going to show you that too. Look, because he sent us two of them joints. He sent us the male and the female version. That's a tie-dye. She's rocking. If you haven't tuned in and checked out Kerry's show, by all means do that. The brother is dope, and he's a producer who was formerly with Men Condition and he knows things about these records, man. He knows what he's talking about and he's dissecting these records and, and getting into it. But anyway, that's enough about what's happening in my life but in my own personal thoughts about what I think we should care about and who we shouldn't hate and so forth. Just don't, when you're at the supermarket and you feel like checking somebody, don't check them people in them pictures I sent because, man, I'll be out there like... Just, anyway, you know what I'm saying. Love everybody. Love, love, love. Anyway... Let's get to my guest because she's here and she's in the green room. And listen, without further ado, I'm just going to bring her on into the set. There she is. That's her right there. Now, what I'm going to do right now is chill this music down a little bit and welcome Miss Karen Ashley to the set. What's up? Hi. <laughs> Man, look at you. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. It's right. been too long <laughs> yeah. it, you know it's been a hundred years to be exact it's been a hundred years to be exact and i think i want to point out to you you're all grown up now i think it's amazing <laughs> you're all grown up now and trying uh, to be yeah that's pretty amazing <laughs> you know and here's a picture of when i first met you i want to show you this <laughs> oh gosh this is this has to be like the beginning i guess because you're oh, like this is when the, i was what? So baby, I was like, I had to be like 13. Uh oh, bro, you were like 10. <laughs> right? You're not 13. Come on, man. I was 10. I was, I was, I was honestly at that point, I think I was 13. I can always you tell are? by like our styling. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go back. Yeah, that's, that's young. That's a young yeah. stuff. But so let me ask you this. So in this picture right here, you were with Jimmy Jam. That's Jimmy Jam right there on the left. Yeah. So you yes. met Jimmy Jam at a very, very young age, and this is this is obviously prior to the crush, the crush thing. No, we were we were signed. Um, we met him after we signed our uh, recording contract with um, on their label, Perspective A and M, um, and yeah, we were we were. I was. I think we got our deal when I was twelve, and okay. we met them. Like it was within a year, we met them, and I was thirteen. Okay. Fourteen, but All that right. was. That was early on. Like, that was, like, one of our first times coming to Minnesota and, you know, hanging out and recording. And they took us to a, to a concert. Right. <laughs> we were at a concert. All right. So, look, look. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to back up a little bit because we got ahead of ourselves a little bit. Let's, let's back up. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is Miss Karen and Ashley. And uh, she's... <laughs> She's an amazing actress and uh, and singer and everything else in between. And uh, let's let's get her properly welcome to the show. So here's the deal: when she says "us," she's talking about these people. Oh, we're gonna let's get the new photo in there. Hold on a second. Yes, I'm gonna yes, fire let's my see. crew. Let's fire my crew. Okay, let, let's talk. Yeah, oh. so you talking about these folks? These yes, the crush are the girls. girls, and that's you in the middle. Crush, Christy yes. on the left, Angie on the right. <laughs> The Crush Girls. Man, oh, I love it. I bought that recently. I bought that single recently on eBay. You did? 
<laughs> How about that? Now the single, album. <laughs> the album. What happened was it? You know, you guys blew up on the Mo Money soundtrack, right? I mean, we recorded this record yes. for Mo Money, and Luther was on this, Janet was on this album, so it was Everybody. quite an opportunity for you guys, wasn't it? It was amazing. It was amazing. I remember we had started, we'd gotten signed to the label and we had started working on our our own record. And then they told us, we're going to have to halt your record because we're doing a soundtrack, but you'll be on it. And we were like, really? And we found out it was Mo Money. We found out it was Damon Wayans. We found, we were just like, oh my gosh. I mean, it was like crazy to be amongst, you know, the best of the best at the time. Right. And And everyone was was on the soundtrack. It was crazy, and it was uh, th- that was a big movie too. I mean, it was a big deal. It really was Huge. a big deal. So you yeah. guys, so I, notice the notice the color pattern of Damon's outfit because I I'm starting to see some <laughs> themes, <laughs> some themes in some of the outfits you girls might have wore during your your so time. 90s. So nineties. Oh so like cross colors. <laughs> like here we come. Yeah, we were actually. Colors. Remember cross colors? Yeah. that's right. Remember cross colors? Yes. That's right. We were spokes, like we did a whole campaign for Cross Colors. Like we That's were, right. we were on like their tags, and we yeah. were like on posters. I mean, it was like amazing. And you know how I benefited from that because they, I remember them coming out the flight time with boxes of clothes and just heaping them on us. We had the latest. And everybody was like grabbing them. And you know what's nuts now? If you look at those pictures, even back then, when I look at those parents, those pictures, Ashley, everything I was wearing was like four sizes too big. And I was like, how was that sexy? Whose idea was this? Right, right. All that extra fabric it for was no apparent clothes. reason. It was baggy, baggy. <laughs> Everything was baggy, baggy. Like, what was you hiding? Obviously, on the West Coast, you was hiding a gun, apparently. That was why, that, that's why the thing. <laughs> I mean, that's what the deal was. But anyway, we had some fun back in those days. And one of the things that uh, I remember is just kind of getting to know you girls and going to a party. And working with you girls in the studio is one thing. And, you know, you, you guys were younger, so you had to be respectful and careful. And, uh, you know, because yeah. they're so, you know, because you got parents and, and I, you know. So everybody's got to be careful on how you're treating these young ladies and so forth. But I remember once we went to a party and we really hung out and got to know know each other really well. And um, and it was awesome. I mean, you girls were really so sweet. I, I, I learned that you girls were just the sweetest that you could, you know, people on the planet. And, it, you know, and I had a ball getting to know you girls. And that was that, that's kind of one of my throwback memories of, of you guys. Also, I have some other things like you guys just did some cool stuff when you were at flight time. One of the things you did for me was you sent me, you sent me, and I told you I loved you guys and you guys literally were like, are you serious? And you guys sent me this. this. <laughs> we were so ready. Oh. Like anybody, like we were ready to sign an autograph for anybody. Yeah. Like, you know, we were like, oh my God, do you want an autograph? Do you want an autograph? Like it was like the, we had our little headshot promo shot. I love Aww. it. I love it. I, I love know. It. I love it. It's so, very fun. Well, let's 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 get into this because you know I got a little bit of this. I might as well roll into this too. I mean, dang, I got everything. <laughs> <laughs> let's get together. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. That was our our first video, and I remember we went to we came to LA, and we I mean we rehearsed for months. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah. If that don't take you back, I I just don't know what will. Yeah. I don't know. That's a time capsule, <laughs> right there. So totally. So that was that was wild. I mean, you guys came. Out, where are you from originally? You're from where? We're from Texas. All We're of all us from were, Texas. That's right. I remember um, yeah. that. We grew that. up um, in Dallas. I'm originally from Odessa, Texas, but we okay. grew up in Dallas, and um, we were signed out of Texas. Uh, we, you know, formed the group. Like I said, we formed the group when I was 12 years old, and we started putting together our demo, and we, we shot a couple of videos, you know, just independently and we you know our manager started sending flight time you know stuff about us and they right. instantly liked us and were interested but it took about a year for us to get signed with them but we were talking to them for about a year and we would anything we would do we went to the mall we'd videotape ourselves and send it to them <laughs> we would you know create a video we would send them our rehearsals we would send them okay. our demos I mean, we were just so driven as little kids. <laughs> and then you came in there and you, you know, you, the, the, wow, just came right in and boom, you're right on records. I mean, next thing you know, you're in the studio and you're on record. 
and then you hear yourself yeah. on record. Now you got to develop a dance routine and, uh, and matching <laughs> outfits. And now, now you're in now you're in California. Y'all that AMM Records in perspective, and you know, man, flying around the country and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, it was it was such a like it was such a cool time. Like I always tell people, I felt like you know our work ethic was we didn't we didn't have extracurricular stuff we didn't get to be like in you know cheerleaders or any our extracurricular was crush like we every moment we had off we would rehearse every weekend 10 12 hours a day we would go to vocal training after school a couple times a week like we were just so driven and we wanted it so bad and you know and then to you know land with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis and be on their label and be surrounded by, I mean, the most amazing uh, artists and right. everyone wanted to work with them. And, and we just felt so blessed and um, we would just work and work and work. And, and, you know, we, when Mo Money came around, it was such a blessing to, to just be in the studio at that time. Like everybody was coming through recording their songs for the soundtrack and, you know, everyone really was excited about this. And so we were just, I mean, it was like a dream come true for us. <laughs> well, you know, Something else happened shortly after that. I mean, you 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 kind of switched gears a little bit, and uh, mm -hmm. um, you took on another. You know, you went in another direction. <laughs> right? I did. You did. I did. Well, you know what's funny is I had my first audition when I was in Crush, and it was for Sister Act Two. And we, they wanted to hire groups or professional singers to be on the movie. And so we auditioned for that film. And I knew in that moment, I was just like, wow, I love Crush, but I, I want to be an actress. Like this, I, I, mm -hmm. I mean, this is what I want to do. And so I knew at some point I would do it if given the opportunity. Um, so I just kind of was like, I started, I got an agent and I kind of started going to auditions and I, I did anything, you know, right. in, in Dallas, it was limited. You, you know, it was kind of commercials and like they shot Walker, Texas Ranger. And I was just kind of doing, you know, small things, but mm -hmm. I just was like, you know, the minute I can, I, I'm going to go and, and I'm going to, I'm going to be an actress. And I, I planned it. I said, when I graduate high school, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to film school. And I remember meeting Spike Lee and I, I asked him, I said, if I go to film school, what film school should I go to? And he said, go to, you know, U NYU, USC or go to think. NYU. Right. Yeah. He told me those are the two. And so I said, okay, I don't want to, I want to move to LA. So I'm going to go to USC. And he was like, perfect. And, and so <laughs> that was it. And so, but you know, I was dedicated to crush and, and I just, you know, I, I, I didn't get the part obviously in sister act two, but I knew I got, you know, the acting bug and well, it was just happened. a matter of time. And then something yeah. happened and it sounds <laughs> It sounds like it sounds like this. A month after graduating <laughs> high school. <laughs> Man, you literally started kicking butt as one of the Power Rangers. I, yeah. <laughs> They were like, look, man, <laughs> Ashley is now one of the Power Rangers. I was like, no, the Power Rangers are on TV, bro. What are you talking about, man? The power, they, that's like on TV. And she was a Power Ranger. The yellow, the, the yellow ranger. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's incredible, yes. man. I mean, that, talk about a Thank journey you. from Texas into the music business, Minneapolis, Jam and Lewis, Hollywood. Yeah. It was, it was bananas because literally I'd said, I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to, if I have to sleep on people's couches, I'm just going to go to LA. I'm going to pound the pavement. I'm going to do what everybody else does. And it was literally one month after I'd graduated high school and I had, it was an open call. Like my friend called me and said, you know, you've got to go to this audition. Um, it was in Dallas and they, she said, it's an open call. So just, you know, you got to go. It's for Power Rangers. And I, I didn't even know what the show was. I was like, what is Power Rangers? And she was like, are you kidding me? You don't know what that show is. It's like only the biggest kid show in the world and so I said no I'm gonna go and I I went and um I remember showing up and there were like a couple thousand people <laughs> waiting to audition for this show and I was just like oh my gosh like I, I even at one moment thought should I even do this because this is such an open call they're looking right. for god knows what they just I just knew it was three three characters that were going to wow. be cast and I just said okay and so I waited all day I went and I did the audition and that 
evening they said can you come back and we'll tape you for um for the producers and I was like yeah and so that thousand that couple thousand turned into like a (laughs) hundred it was still a lot of people and I was just like oh my gosh and I remember auditioning and they didn't even they didn't even have music like I, I brought music to 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 dance to because oh, you wow. had to be a dancer, a gymnast, or a martial right. artist. And I brought music, and they were like, "We don't have anything to play it, so just dance." <laughs> and I just remember going, "Okay." That's funny. <laughs> you know what? And what's cool about that is that you, by this time, you were in the you were in the flight time factory, so you were already dancing all the damn yeah. time anyway. So you came in on yeah. another level of hype. Like I'm already in show business. Like, and they were like, "Yeah." Girl. And you know what? I think that's what it was. That was honestly their way of just weeding people out because so many people in that moment, you know, if you don't have, you know, if if something, just anything goes wrong, people kind of crumble under, under that pressure. And I was like, nope, I've, I've danced plenty of times. I've been in a room where, you know, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis said, hit it. And we had to hit it. Right, right. right. And that that gets you ready for every level of show business right there. I mean, that's everything. Yeah. People, people. Everything. Also understand how prepared you are when you come out of that flight time factory, but here, yeah. here's the thing. Now that that role as a yellow as a yellow Power Ranger. Now, were you mm-hmm. in the movie? I was. Yes. <sighs> see, I was. Now, see, <laughs> see, 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 Ashley. That's one thing to be a Power Ranger on TV. That's one thing, but this is a movie. You actually yes. in the Power Rangers movie. That is amazing to me yes. because this is the only Power Rangers movie ever made. Am, if, am I mistaken? No, there've been there've been um they did two other movies, um, oh, since but this then. is the original. This is the original. Yeah, yeah, Man. they did. This was the the big budget. You know, I remember we got the part, and like it was literally four days later. We auditioned for producers. We auditioned all day, and then they put us in a room and they go, "We want you, you, and you." And we were just going like crazy. And then we realized we're still in the room with the other people who didn't get the part. Wow. <laughs> and so crazy. we were like, but they told us that day they were like you know, you're on the television show and you're also doing the movie and you're going to leave in about a month to Sydney, Australia, and you're going to go and shoot film. And we were just like, I mean, honestly, Jeff, I felt like I got the golden ticket. (laughs) It was like everything I'd ever dreamt of doing. Like I get to do a movie. I get to be on a television show. I, you know, it was just, I get to go to Australia I love you know, it. this I mean, is, a lot. I'm a girl so, who, old, I didn't even have a passport. <laughs> how old, so, and how old were you at this time when you, when you did the movie? How old were you then? I had just turned 18 years old. Jeez, so. man. So you packed yeah. a lot into that six year, five, six year period. And that yeah. was a very productive period for me as well. So that we were on the same, in the same, you know, kind of track there during that five or six. We did so much in that time period. It's amazing. People say, well, how'd you do all those records? Well, yeah, during that time period for perspective, there was a lot of work. Yeah. There's a lot of there stuff. There were to so do. many like classic records, classic yeah. albums that came out yeah, out of that. Amazing. I mean, that studio was on fire. Was like, amazing. yeah, you were and you were there for all of it. Yeah. <laughs> you you got mean? the scars to prove it. Uh, hey, no, I'm, I'm sure. I love it. Hey, listen, I love my experiences there. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Hey, but you know, can you yeah. humor me now and play a game with me? Because I like to play a little yes. game, show a couple images, and just kind of see what comes to mind, like your doctor would if you were in your doctor's office and okay. were bothering okay. you. You didn't know what was. Like, well, just tell me what comes to mind <laughs> when you see these pictures, all right? Picture number okay. one. Tell me what comes to mind. Miss Ashley, this is either side of your personality. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to target both sides. So, what comes to mind oh. when you see this? Goldar, I, I wanna I wanna kick somebody in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up, it's it's it's, it's morphin time when he shows up. <laughs> He's a bad guy. That's a bad guy. Yes. So that's a ranger bad guy right there. Alright, here's another one for yes. you right here. Ready for this one? Stand by. Yes. What do you uh, think? Man, that's like that's who got the party started. That's the Supremes. Yeah. Every girl group, I think we all I don't care what kind of girl group you were everyone has you know wanted to be like the supremes i remember when we would you know talk our you know talk with our stylists or talk fashion we wanted to dress alike like the supremes we didn't really want to be that group that you know everybody kind of had their individual style we right. actually liked dressing alike and we we liked it because of that reason we that was kind of paying homage to them awesome awesome let's see i got one more for you uh let's see what comes to mind when you see Something like this. Oh, oh, well, what comes? 
comes to mind is when we were in Crush, we met them and introduced them <laughs> at like a show, like at the state fair. <laughs> and little did we know, I mean, they were like, there was like 10 members. They weren't even called Destiny's Child. They were called Girls Time. Oh, and they wow. were the nicest, sweetest, <sighs> right. cutest. Like we, we gave each other autographs. Like they gave us their autograph. We gave them our autograph. And I mean, but we honestly, I remember this like it was yesterday when they started singing. Mm. Beyonce's voice was we were just like who is this kid like she was little like a little I mean she was literally 10 I don't know Mm. I mean she was young and we were you know it was crazy yeah that's so interesting so I I wanted to show you those pictures and I got a couple others like with 3LW and TLC because during that time period it was there was like a number of girl groups and you girls were the youngest of all those groups I think Um, yeah but um, definitely we're on the up and, and coming up and so much energy and so much talent. And you still keep in contact with the girls now? You guys still hanging and stuff from time to time? Yes, or what? yes, yes. Anytime I go to Dallas, we figure out a way to get together and just have dinner and just, yeah, no, we literally, we text all the time. We're usually on a mass text with each other. See, I know um, y'all hang out because I, like I said, yeah, I have spies. My family. spies are the internet. Look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. I'm a sleuth. I'm an internet sleuth. I found them. Yeah. There's Christy we, and Angie. And yeah. Ashley. We you, we actually that was Angie's birthday and I surprised her. She didn't know. We we were she thought we were just gonna I don't even think she knew I was in town, but she, you know, we were just going to hang out or her and Christy were supposed to hang out and I I popped out and we all started crying. Nice. <laughs> so let me ask you now you're now you're married. Yes. How long have you been married now? Uh, we've been married uh, seven years. And seven years. yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. You That's have kids crazy. as well? No kids. Any children? No children yet. Okay. I still no doing, children. You're still, out in the, <laughs> out, you're still on the West Coast doing your, your yes. acting thing and making that happen? Yeah. What else is yes. going on with you? Anything you want to tell us about? How, what, what can we, how can we support you? Oh, thank you. Well, I'm a producer now, and I'm actually in the process of selling a television show. Um, we're having pitch meetings, and it's a television show that I created and I wrote, and um, it's just crazy. Like now, I mean, it was just something that I had always done. Like I'd always written, I'd always was a writer, and it was something that was always supported. Even in Crush, you know, they always wanted us to write, so it was just something that I always did. So for me, becoming a producer and becoming, you know, someone who kind of shifted gears into the other side of the camera. It's like heaven. I love it. I love mm-hmm. creating. I love creating characters. I love writing scripts and mm-hmm. I love seeing them come to life. But yeah, I'm, I'm currently pitching and uh, pitching a t- TV show that hopefully we can get shot this year. Well, hopefully you have <laughs> a great team with you because that's all you need is a great team. Isn't it great when you have good yeah. ideas and people stand behind you and go, yeah, we can make that happen. You know what I mean? That's the best feeling in the world because it, for me, the it best. propels me on to the next idea. If I know I can leave that one with you, I'm going to go to the next one and then we just keep going. You know what I mean? And you create some exactly. great stuff that way. Exactly. Yeah, no, that's, and that's the beautiful thing. God's always blessed me with giving me the right people around me. And mm-hmm. I've been able to figure out like who needs to be here, who doesn't that need to be here and Mm -hmm. you know but yeah no it's it's such a cool space you know to be in I'm still Mm -hmm. an actress and this project I'm I'm starring in Mm -hmm. but you know it's just a different kind of um it's really cool when you get to just stay in that creative space because I think most people when you think of them as you think of them as a singer or you think of them as just an actress and Mm -hmm. every usually mostly all creatives are creative at a lot of things Mm -hmm. you know so for us it's just a matter of what do we get the opportunity to do you know that's true. That's true. Yeah. And I see you writing love stories and stuff like that, but also like, you know, with little violence. <laughs> Always. Every movie I write, there's an action scene. <laughs> That's awesome, man. You know, so good to catch up with you, young lady. I can't even tell you how Aww. how warm this has made me feel today because it's been a long time. But the memories that I have of you and the girls are just some of the fondest ones that I've had at all of my experiences in the music industry. Thank you. Thank so. you. No, well, the same here. We, I mean, you were always so, so nice. And we were surrounded by adults, but like everybody at, like we have no horror stories about those yeah, years. You know how yeah. people have like, oh, you right. know, we had the best people around us and thank God for that. The flight time was a safe place. That's that's for sure. It was, You know, yeah. you, you can't even come in there smelling like smoke. No, right? <laughs> you know? And I but you know what? That's place. why it was like such
some like I said, like yeah. some of the best stuff came yeah. out of there, you know, and, uh, and it's led by example, you know. Well, Miss Ashley, thank you so much for coming on my show. I'm so blessed and honored and say hello to your family and I wish you all the best we're expecting big things from you nothing but because I know the energy you bring I know those that sparkle has not changed in your eyes it's still <laughs> there the same as I remember go get them Ashley Girl. thank you <laughs> thank you so much for uh, being hey, on my show absolutely absolutely it's my pleasure I was so excited when you asked me we love you, Ashley. So best of luck. We'll talk to you in the near future, all right? Everybody, yes. say goodbye to Miss Ashley as she heads on out. Karen Ashley, man, you can't ask for a better guest than that. I'm telling you, thank you so much, darling, for coming on my show, my little old show. Oh, I got to go. I hate to go. But, you know, I do got to go. I hate to go, but I got to go. But before I go, I'm going to pay a couple bills because, you know, I do have many places to be reached and many different sites that I have going on. I have the Mad Jeff Show here on on, uh, Facebook and on YouTube. I have Mad Jeff Music on IG and Twitter and uh, YouTube Live. And if you you want to support the show, I'm not going to be mad at you. You can put your phone up there and you can scan that little thing right there and it'll actually send me money from your bank account into mine. And you think I won't take it and use it for these graphics and these other cool things? Yes, I will. Doesn't make me a bad person. Hey, guess what? I'm a hustler, baby, because this hustle never stops. I make music. I make beats, creation tools, 80s and 90s R&B samples. You can't get these anywhere else but from me. Guess what? You can also scan this code right here into your phone. It'll take you directly to my Shopify store. You can digitally download these, and you can get these cracking in your studio today or tomorrow or whenever you got time. Guess what? I'm an author. Yeah, you figured it. I write. I got many ideas to share and many things that I want you to know about the music industry. Scan that icon right there. There's a QR code. It'll take you right to my store and you can buy that. You can buy them books. They ain't even expensive. They cheap books, but they fill with information. Again, thank you so much for uh, my guest. Miss Karen Ashley for tuning into the show. Crush was was the stuff in the eighties, in the in the in the nineties. I'm sorry, and um, they had a really massive hit with you know Groovy Now, and they were everywhere. And I was excited to be a part of that. So, hey man, until the next time. Wait a minute, before I go, I gotta I gotta tell you who my next guest is. This dude right here is one of my homies right here. This is Christian Mendoza. He's a He's a touring musician, performing guitars from, he's played all over the world. He's toured with uh, Enrique Iglesias, K-9, so many people I can't even list right now. I can't even list them. But he's going to be on my show this coming Tuesday. Christian, one of the best musicians, bro, on the planet, bar none. This dude can flat out play. I'm looking forward to talking to him about his experience. He just happens to be a world-class chef as well. So, anyway, that's about 30 minutes of my time today. And, oh, did I mention it? If you're tuning in you have an opportunity to review and win some of these olo headphones that i rock in my shop anyway that's all i got thank you so much man for tuning in to the mad jeff music show hey i hope you enjoyed yourselves as much as i did that's fire don't burn yourself until we meet again it's mad jeff and i'm out